Hello, I'm David Hester. This is the Bible Health 101 show. Thanks so much for listening. Today you can find my website at www.biblehealth101.com. You know, and in a number of uh, posts and videos that I've made, uh, I've been talking about exercise, you know, cardiovascular exercise, resistance exercise. I've been talking about the benefits of exercise and, uh, you know, it's, it's necessary, okay, uh, to have good health. Exercise is necessary for good health. And, uh, you know, if you need more evidence than what I've shown you so far, then uh, I want you to know that uh, exercise can also help you to prevent several types of cancer, okay? Think of it. You lose fat, okay? That's one of the benefits of exercise. But you see, fat produces hormones that... Uh, you know, that, that speed up abnormal, ab, abnormal, listen to me, I can't speak today, that speed up abnormal cell growth, okay, so by getting rid of fat, you know, by getting rid of excess weight, you're going to reduce your chance uh, for these, uh, these dangerous cells to thrive, okay, um, think of it this way, okay, your insulin levels drop, okay, um, I've talked to you before about how your insulin regulates your blood sugar, okay? And, and you know, high levels of, of this hormone also play a role in, in tumor growth. So eating too much, you know, especially the sugary foods and the fatty foods, okay, makes cells resistant to, uh, to insulin's effects. So the, uh, the pancreas ends up having to compensate uh, by producing even more of this hormone. So your cells at that point begin to divide. Uh, they, they divide more rapidly. Um, and, you know, that's increasing the chance for uh, DNA errors. Okay, so exercise here is going to help us lose weight. It's going to help to restore the sensitivity of, of cells to insulin. And, uh, you know, of course, this cleans the blood of uh, excess amounts of insulin, okay? Now, inflammation subsides, okay? See, normally the, the body's inflammatory response repairs damaged cells and, you know, and protects the rest of the body, okay? So, uh, chronic inflammation, inflammation, you know, can, uh, can put this kind of, this, this response, this inflammatory response into overdrive okay, and again, can stimulate tumor growth, so, uh, you know, low impact exercises are going to reduce the risk of chronic inflammation, okay, uh, when you exercise, estrogen decreases, okay, so, estrogen, um, you know, has been shown to encourage estrogen receptor positive breast cancer cells, okay, so, uh, it, it, it encourages these cells to multiply. So if we get regular exercise, it's going to reduce our body weight. It's going to help to lower the amount of estrogen that's circulating uh, in our bodies, okay? Now, SHBG increases, okay, which is a sex hormone, basically, uh, and basically this this hormone attaches to estrogen in the bloodstream so when uh when estrogen is coupled with this shgb uh, okay it's it's unable to fuel the growth of you know vulnerable cells so high shbg uh, okay will um of course lower your risk of cancer. Now, exercise helps you to protect your uterus. All right. Uh, you see, the potential ins insulin and uh, the estrogen lowering effects of, you know, long-term exercise will reduce your risk of endometrial cancer, okay, by about 30 to 40 percent, okay. So, you know, that, of course, that's according to the uh, six-year Shanghai, you know, cancer study, okay? 
that was uh, conducted by all the researchers at Vanderbilt uh, University, which is in Nashville. Now, um, exercise helps to protect your pancreas, okay? So people that are overweight, that are obese, are 72% more likely to get pancreatic cancer, okay? Um, this totally changes if we maintain a healthy weight. Now, researchers at the, uh, the Harvard School of Public Health uh, have found that those who engage in, in four or more hours of walking or hiking a week, okay, can reduce the risk of pancreatic cancer in half compared to those who exercise fewer than 20 minutes each week. Now, uh, exercise also protects your colon. Now, this is important because, uh, you know, the, the bottom line is that you can lower your risk for colon cancer with as little as four hours of exercise in a week, okay? And research uh, is suggesting that exercise, you know, has this insulin suppressing effect that can, you know, ultimately help save colon cancer patients' lives, okay? So uh, patients that are going to walk six or more hours a week, at, you know, at a moderate pace or, you know, are about 50% likelier to remain disease-free, okay? So that was, of course, in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. Now, exercise also protects your lungs, okay? Now, smokers, both past smokers and present smokers, uh, you know, who exercise moderately more than once a week are going to be 21% less likely to be uh, diagnosed with lung cancer, okay, than those who uh, never sweat. Okay, and that's based on the uh, researchers at the University of Minnesota at Minneapolis. Now, uh, you know, the, the top way to protect your lungs, of course, and your overall health is to stop smoking. Okay, I can never say that enough. All right, my father, uh, when he had his heart attack, the doctor said that he had to, you know, quit smoking or, um, you know, basically he was going to die, you know, and, and my father was a wise man and he quit smoking okay so in our next um, video we're going to talk about weight gain okay and we're going to talk about the principles of healthy weight gain uh, and you know how how those principles are also uh, similar in many ways to the principles of weight loss so thanks so much for listening to the uh, you know the program today if you have any questions or comments please post them below the video either on the YouTube station or at the website okay be sure to visit the website at www.biblehealth101.com God bless you